Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outposts. In this video, we're going to be working in the viewports. We'll talk about the different viewport modes and a little bit about the inspector. To visualize what we're doing, we need to add a mesh instance cube to our scene. In the viewport, you have four modes, three of them being transforms, selection, move, rotate, and scale. You can switch between these modes by either clicking on the icon on the toolbar menu or pressing Q, W, E, R on the keyboard. Selection mode allows you to deselect and select an object. And if you click and drag, everything within this rectangle will be selected. Now what's important to mention about selection mode is if you don't have anything selected and you go into move, rotate, or scale, you won't be able to select an object. You can select an object by coming into the scene hierarchy, but in the viewport, you won't be able to select or deselect an object. In move mode, you can move an object by pulling or pushing on the arrows, selecting these planes, or just left clicking in the viewport. When you select these planes, you're moving along two axes. And when you left click in the viewport, you're moving the object in relation to the camera of the viewport. In rotation mode, you can rotate an object along three axes, pitch, roll, and yaw. Additionally, if you left click in the viewport, you'll rotate the object according to the camera viewport. Scale mode is similar to transform. You can scale along each axis, or you can use these flat planes to scale along two axes. If you left mouse click in the viewport, you'll uniformly scale your object, scaling on all axes at once. If you come over to the inspector and you click on transform, you'll open this up and you'll see translation, rotation, and scale, the modes we were just in. So as we were moving the object around, rotating and scaling it, we were also adjusting these numbers. So a good way to remember these are R, G, B is X, Y, Z. So I'm gonna zero these out. Except for scale. I'm gonna zero everything out except for scale. So you can move, rotate, or scale an object by grabbing the gizmos in the viewport, or you can come to the transform information and you can enter numbers manually from here. You can select each one of these boxes or you can tab through each one. Next, we need to talk about global versus local transforms. You can toggle between global and local by coming up to the toolbar and clicking on this cube, or you can press T on the keyboard to toggle between them. If it's white, that means you're in global mode, and if it's blue, that means you're in local mode. So if you're in global mode and you rotate an object, you'll notice that the gizmo doesn't actually change. It's called global because it's related to the world. Now if you switch to local mode, you'll notice that the gizmo has changed its axis to align with the object. The gizmo is now local to the object. This is useful if you want to move or rotate an object along its natural pivot. Now to visualize the modes in the 2D viewport, we're going to delete this mesh and we're going to add a mesh instance 2D. We're going to come over to the inspector and under mesh, we're going to add new cube mesh. And we're going to make sure we're zoomed away in. 2D is actually pretty much the same as 3D with one big difference. And that is that it only has two axes, which is X and Y. In 3D, we have X, Y, Z, Z being the depth. And another difference being it does not have a toggle between local and global. All right, guys. In the next video, we're going to go over grid settings and snaps. If you like this video, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.